Oh goodness, we've got babies for days, and it's a disaster. I think we got our first mutation though, but I can't get to it. Oh, this, this is such a nightmare. There we go. This female Jerboa is mutated, I believe. It's got a green back. <laughs> yeah, there it is, one mutation. It's that, uh, that green coloring on the back there. It's pretty darn cute. Um, yeah, I don't think we got any other mutations, but that is our first Jerboa mutation. And uh, we got a lot of babies here to kind of comb through. Um, I'm trying to, I, I hate, oh, breeding Jerboas is the worst, just so you know. Ah, oh, don't do it, it's a disaster. Can I, you are the cutest little thing ever, could I please, there we go. God, I love that color, that orange, and I want, I want to get white on it though. Um, so I think this is the only one we're gonna keep out of there because it's female, we need more females. And, um, and we got a mutation out of it. I don't think any of the others have mutations. No, no. Could you stop flying? You really don't need to be flying. There we go. Oh, one died already. Okay. Yep. Breeding Jerboas is a disaster. I'm, I'm a terrible dino, dinosaur dad as it is. And, uh, breeding Jerboas does not make that any better. Ugh. But anyways, everybody, welcome back to the brown chicken, brown cow village. Hope you guys are, uh, gonna enjoy your stay we're gonna i think we're gonna fix the base a little bit today we got a lot of things going on it's there's uh, we've got overwhelm an overwhelming amount of babies just everywhere it's kind of ridiculous um just there's just dinosaurs everywhere it's it's a mess so we got to fix that today um i want to mess around i wanted to completely rebuild the base but um it's just such a daunting task i I just don't have the energy to do it. Um, and we've already got so many nice things. I'm trying to also continue our Rex mutations today. So hopefully we'll get lucky. Um, I've been kind of just collecting up eggs to do one big mass hatching, I guess. The hatching. Oh, 56 seconds till you're ready to mate. Premature orgy orgies. God, I, I have issues. Um, so yeah, what I want to do today is I want to kind of clear up the breeding pen we do have. Um, I guess I'm, I want to move the Ovis out of here and, oh my god, look at all the babies. There's just so much. There's too much. Too many babes. Not enough food. Um, at least our, our Satan army is growing exponentially. We've got all the devil sheep we could possibly ask for. It's quite nice. Um, I think this is maybe the last one. One. Oh, just get in the inventory. Oh, and it wants to cuddle. You're such a little cutie. Um, just I want to make sure there's no other new mutations. Oh my god, there's just so many sheep. Uh, but I want to make them a sheep pen outside. I feel like they deserve to be outside now, um, instead of being confined in a small area. And then we'll get some new mutations going. I still want to continue our saber mutations. So we'll go ahead and kind of move things around a little bit. Um, I want to get our murdered chicken army moved into here. I think anything we'll do with small dinos is we'll build them a little aviary inside of here. Now, I believe the, oh, the fences snap to these like so. Let me, is that where I wanted to build this? No. No, it's most definitely not where I wanted to build it. I wanted to build it over here. And I think this is where we're going to put our, um, our vulture army. Because they deserve a special spot. So I kind of just want to build like a little aviary. aviary. Oh. And uh, although I don't know if I can put a roof on it if I do it this way. I don't need a roof on it, right? Oh, I need so many more. Um, did I put gas in this yet? I didn't turn it on. Derp. Uh, so we're finally putting our super awesome forge to work. And um, what else we got going on? Not a whole lot. We're just kind of going to move things around today. I'm not going to tame anything new, so apologize that's what you guys were hoping for. But we are going to hopefully get some new mutations today. So that'll be pretty cool if that happens. We'll see. Uh, we haven't gotten any new Re Rex mutations in a while. Um, I want to continue breeding our sabers. Looks like everybody's still getting their groove on. We'll let them just be for a bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish our little aviary pen, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, we are back. Now comes the disaster of getting all the micro raptors <laughs> up into our newly made pen. I actually don't know if I'll be able to get them up there. I decided not to make it inside the lower base. I decided to actually put them 
up on the roof where an aviary ought to be. Um, this is going to be an epic disaster. I can feel it already. It's not going to go well. We got one out. Two, three. Oh. Okay, we got four. Five. Only about a hundred left. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, huh. Ooh. Oh, what is that? Hello, you. Murder Beth. I completely forgot about you, Murder Beth. I figured we'd have more uh, mutations by now, but clearly I was mistaken. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and get the ones up that we've got now. And I'll show you our, our new pens for them. I think they'll like them. I think they'll appreciate it. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Whoa, you're getting a little excited there, Microraptor. You don't even have a name. All right, can you guys make it up this? Okay. All right, we're doing it. Look at those. Look at those nice new pens. You guys are going to be so happy. Are you excited? They look excited, don't they? Oh, now, now the real hard part. Getting through the door. That doesn't... I forgot to put the actual door on it. Um, okay, we got, we got some. Oh, God, everything. Okay, you're not supposed to go over there, but that's fine. I guess, you know, we could probably just make this one big aviary and um, not have to separate them. But we got some in there, and that's all that matters. I also need to put doors on it. <laughs> I completely forgot about that little bit of information. Oh, oh, they are also on Wander, all outside the pen now. Oh, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Boink, you are mine. All the murder chickens are belong to me. So, all right, we got that. Then we'll have to put the actual vultures up there, and then we'll be good to go. Oh, oh man, it's so... They're terrifying little creatures. Everyone says the, the Uteranus is more terrifying, but I say that the murder chicken is far, far, far more terrifying. Okay, okay, so yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these guys in here, and then we can go ahead and hatch up, like, the 15 billion... I think we've got like 10 Rex eggs. So you guys need to start crossing your fingers, hoping for a mutation. Because uh, I think maybe that'll give us some good luck. Oh my god, you got 24 levels on you? You are a beast. Man, okay. Um, can we throw this one in there? Nailed it. Pick up. Throw in there. We're good. Everything is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and get our eggs. Hopefully we'll get some Rex mutations. I think I got the eggs in two different places because they weigh so much. Um, I think I've also got some terrorist bird. Yeah, I do. I got some terrorist bird eggs. Got some Kentrosaur eggs. Man, I got eggs for days. All the eggs. More mut- Oh, this one. I think it's in here. Nope, I'm a liar and full shit. It's in here. There we go. Oh, some of them are about to hatch already. Alright, so that's a- that's a good bit of eggs. What? Whoa, hello. What are you guys doing down here? Alright, so let's go ahead and drop these bad boys right here. Maybe we'll get some terrorist chicken eggs, which would be, or uh, mutations, which would be nice. Things are hatching already. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, it's happening. Are we, do we get any mutations? No, no. Oh, hello. Hello, friends. Welcome to the party. Ooh, we got one with both, but it's lower level. Oh, it's a disaster. So many things. No mutations. No Rex mutations to speak of. I mean, other. I mean, I guess we need to actually start looking for stat mutations now. Um, so I'll go ahead and get inside of you. You got any stat mutations? Three. Nothing looked higher. Hmm. Okay, so maybe. Oh, Kentrosaurs. We got Kentrosaurs. No mutations. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and claim this one. Do you got any mutations on you? Any stat mutations? No, they all look the same. Everything's the same. Nothing exciting today. It's crazy. Everything's the same. Let's hope this one... Man, I do love this uh, this green and red, though. It looks really nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I think uh, once we get everything squared away at the base, we're going to go ahead and tame up some, uh, some Caprosuchus. Oh, we got terrorist chickens on the loose! God, babies everywhere. It's so loud. They're so destructive. Man, I've been bringing a lot of terrorist chickens. We've yet to get any mutations. They're almost as difficult to mutate as the T-Rexes. Nothing. Not a darn thing. 
Man, these things are ugly as babies, though. You think they're ugly as grown-ups, but man, are they ugly as babies. All right, I guess that's our last hope right here is for this lot to have some mutations, but uh, I'll bring you guys back. Murder Bob's on the loose. Come here, Murder Bob. What are you doing? You're like the ultimate murder chicken. You can't be on the loose. Mm-mm. Not today. So after this disaster, I've kind of come to the realization we actually need to make a hatchery. Like a legit hatching area. Um, because doing it like this is just, what are you doing? Get in your, get in your home. I made you this nice home. I think we've got escaped murder chickens everywhere now. I probably should have put a freaking door on this, but I'm a glutton for punishment. But yeah, we need a hatchery. Um, because things are just a disaster down there right now. So mayhap what I'll do is I'll... Oh, Jesus. I'll make our hatchery... Um, kind of where I was thinking of building our new base, perhaps? Um, stupid chickens. God. The... Oh, I hate everything. This is the worst. I need to put some frickin' doors on this. Oh my god, it's a frickin' disaster. We got babies on the loose everywhere. I think I saw... No, you're just... You went all the way back to, like, stage one. What are you doing? You got any mutations on you, at least? You got three and one, but nothing... It doesn't look... Stats all look the same. Um... Oh man, what are you... Oh, this is a disaster. We definitely need to build a hatchery. Okay, so that's... Um, none of these are... Keep, murder Megan! What are you... How did you get out here? I'm a... Uh, <laughs> I've created a disaster, everybody. This is... This episode... Oh my god. This episode is going to be called... Uh, Moving the Dinosaurs Disaster 1.0. Don't do... Don't do what I'm doing. Plan better. Be better than me. Um, but yeah. So we need to make a hatchery. Everything's a disaster. I'm just gonna leave it like a disaster. You know what? I don't I don't care anymore. Everything's gonna be a disaster. So I'm thinking I was starting to build the new base, but I'm thinking this is just gonna be a hatchery. Um Yeah, that could be a thing. Or do we wanna build it like in here somewhere? I don't know if we can. I definitely don't want to build it up on the roof because that would just be an epic disaster. Where? I mean, this corner could be a hatchery. Oh, great, I'm starving to death. I got some carrots on me. Everything's fine. Um, I guess that corner could theoretically be a hatchery. Um, maybe if I fence it all in. Yeah, that could be a thing. Where do I want to build it over there? Um, there is a thing where if you hatch eggs on foundations, it's safer. So I'm thinking that's going to be the hatchery over there. Um... It kind of sucks that it's so far away from the actual base, but uh, it could be worse. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's probably for the best. I'm going to go ahead and get all of this cleaned up. This is just... It's just, it's a no-go. This is not good. It's a disaster. <laughs> Guess what we just found, ladies and gentlemen? <gasps> Mutated sabers! Yes! <laughs> Told you we were gonna continue our mutations today. We are getting super lucky with the with the mutated sabers. Um this is only the second round I've actually purposely done. Uh the rest of the sabers in here are all accidents. Oh my god, there's more! What the it's breached! Oh my god, come on! Hurry! Run! Oh my god! Oh, there's babies everywhere. What the What in the world is going on? This one's all still up inside of it. Oh my god, what is going on here? So, did, are these twins? Is that what's going on right now? Are you saying I got triplets? Oh my god, okay. Uh, so I got triplet mutated sabers. I didn't even realize that was a thing. I don't even have enough meat to feed triplet sabers. There we go, okay. Um, man, look at these guys. These are super cute. That means I gotta get the blue mane onto these. Are they all males? You wanna go on a walk, little buddy? Okay, we'll go on a walk. Let's go on a walk. Do you want to go on a walk? You don't even you don't even care. He's like, no, nope, I give zero shits about you. And then this guy's yeah. So they're all males, which is kind of terrible. One's level two hundred and thirty-one. No, oh, they're all level two thirty-one. Yeah. So we had triplets. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe we had triplets. So um, triplet mutated sabers all across the sky. Um, so once these guys are fully grown. We're shit out of luck because the other ones are also, or the other one is also, is a, is a male? You're a male, aren't you? Oh, you're a female. 
Oh, happy day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, happy day indeed. Um, yeah, so we need to, unfortunately, uh, get some meat to feed all of our critters. So, I've kind of just... Oh, man, we got... This is a disaster. Are there any mutations in here? No, I don't think so. Uh, so terrible things are about to ensue. I apologize. But uh, we're... Oh, oh, oh. We really need to uh, figure out a way... <gasps> I know what we're gonna do. Oh, oh, I have a, such a good idea for another episode. Not today. Uh, I've got plans. We're gonna do some things behind the scenes here to um, to fix some of the issues that we got going on right now. Um, and then we're gonna build our uh, incubation area. And then um, we're gonna try and get the rest of the mutations for our sabers. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, and I'm kind of wondering... Oh, there's so much to do. There's so much to fix. Oh, it's a disaster. Everywhere's a disaster. Um, our Jerboa are actually probably ready to start breeding soon as well. How, why are you guys all moved around? I actually, I like these up here, our little aviary. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and I don't want to build the incubation pen all the way over there. Um, I want it closer. What are you doing? Oh, I left you on wander. I'm dumb. All right, we've started the beginnings of our hatchery. Now, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to get it set up. I want to put um, things in here to store food so that we don't have to keep freaking out every time we hatch babies. Um, I don't want to put a feeding trough in here because we should be able to have them feed off of this one once they're juveniles. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a refrigerator um, maybe two refrigerators, and then I need to actually grab these here. Um, dur, 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 dur. these. This should be enough. One, four, yeah. I've been able to hatch pretty much everything with four. I don't think we're gonna need, um, more than that. If we do, I can always make more. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put these on the back wall. Then I'll have to run electricity to it. Now I wanna center it because OCD, I believe this looks like the center ish area like right here so we'll go ahead and go like so that bad boy there like this and i think it'll look good in the wall like that maybe i'll make one more just to be safe and to make it perfectly centered <laughs> um so what i want to do is i think on either side i'm going to put a fridge i'm going to fill one with raw meat and the other with berries and that way we're covering our base for everything that we need as far as um as food for the babies go and then um our hatching should go a lot better i also want to put fences around it so let me see if i've got um fence stiff uh da -da -da -da. do i want stone fence no, I got, if I got metal fences, I might as well use the metal fences. There we go. Now, um, what I think I'm going to do, I wanted to make one side um, actually closed in. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll do all of that side, the hatchery. Right? I think that'll be good. And then this side something else i don't know exactly what it's going to be but maybe more storage we need we do need a spot to be able to store more things uh to be able to get more stuff done um actually i know what this could be but i, I don't know if i have the stuff to make it today it's going to take a little bit of thinking to do that um i think too high should be good for the fence let's go ahead and do that and then are we going to be able to center a doorway through here? Of course not. Why would we be able to? And I forgot to drink water and eat food. Oh my god. I'm dying. Everything's terrible. Save me. There we go. Everything's fine. Um, still kind of trying to figure out how to make this look good. Maybe I'll mess around with it a little bit and uh, come up with something just a little bit better than this. All right, so we are almost done with our hatchery, and I kind of like how it is. It's, it's nothing extremely fancy, but it doesn't really need to be because uh, we just need to hatch dinos and make sure they're safe, and I think we've accomplished that. Now, we've got our electricity already run to our AC units over here. Um, I was trying to add some trim, but... Uh, oh, there we go. Nice, because you know how I, got, how, how I like making trim on my buildings, just to add a little bit of something to it just helps make it look better in my opinion not i don't know 
<laughs> I like it. Uh, should I put it there too? Does that look retarded? Uh, a little bit, I guess. Does not look amazing. Doesn't look terrible, I guess, either. Um, yeah, there's a couple things we still need to do. I need to get the um, refrigerators in there. So let's go ahead and grab those. Should I also put maybe some? Yeah, that looks good in the corner. Oh, but now since I spent all that time centering these. Oh, no. It's going to drive me crazy. Do I still have my gun? My demolition gun? I spent a whole bunch of extra time centering these <laughs> because it looked ridiculous. And now I have to do it again because now I added the thing that I should have just done to begin with. And uh, it should look fine if I get it centered like this. There we go. Much better. Hopefully this goes across and doesn't look... <gasps> it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so um, what we need to do is we need to get two refrigerators. And uh, I know I've at least got enough resources for one. I'm not 100% sure if I've got enough for two. Uh, refrigerator. There we go. Pull resources. Oh, yeah. We got enough for two. Perfect. Um, I also need to make sure we got enough oil. I might actually have to start crafting up some more here shortly. Now let's go ahead and drop that bad boy right down there like so. And um, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to farm up an absolute ass load of raw meat and fill up these, um, these refrigerators with them. What the hell? How did you get in here, stupid pillar? Any more rogue pillars? No? Okay. All right. Everything's fine. So uh, I guess I'm going to put these in the corner. Um, I wish they didn't phase through the wall like that because it makes it a pain in the ass to actually get everything centered or not centered but you know placed right i wish it would just when you placed them the back would just sit up against the wall but no nope certainly not where'd it go oh, god goodness gracious um can i get this to place not in the wall i think that's about right is it through the wall you through the wall oh goodness gracious see that's what i was talking about um so we'll go ahead and pick that up. I'll get that place later. Now, what I'm also thinking of doing is putting a small um, uh, farm up here. And maybe filling it with a certain type of berry so that I don't ever have to go out and farm berries anymore. What's dead over there? Is that a T-Rex that escaped? It is. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of putting a small farm up here. Or possibly... Um, maybe making this three stories and building a slaughterhouse for the sheep. Uh, that sounds terrible because I hate killing the cute little sheep. Uh, but this is either going to be a farm up here or a slaughterhouse. I'm not 100% sure yet. I need to farm up more glass before I can do that. And by glass, I mean uh, crystal. Um, but yeah, we got things going. It's going pretty good. I just got to get these stupid refrigerators placed and then we should be good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's complete. We also added a small little aviary in here for hatching um, Argentavis. But I also just realized to do that, I need <laughs> I need to put some freaking uh, AC units in here as well. So that's something we'll have to do there in the future. But I figured we'll go ahead and put it to the test now with some T-Rex eggs. And just make sure that they can't get out. I'm thinking too high is going to be just enough. Um, <clears throat> at least until they're fully adult. I'm not 100% sure if they can even walk over at full adult anyways. Um, yeah, so we need to put some AC units in there. I guess what I can do is I can go ahead and, uh, craft those up now. Hopefully I have enough. I could just take this one, because that doesn't necessarily need to be there. Um, I just put it there because I wanted it to be even. Let's see if I actually have enough to make what I need. Oh, I'm starving literally all the time. Hungry and thirsty. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we need um, air conditioner. Pull selected. Ooh, we do. Uh, Paul armor crystal. I have a feeling we're going to be running out of all of that stuff real quick. Yep. Okay, so that's all we got. So let's go ahead and see... If the electric that we brought over there actually makes it over to... Because the nice thing about the Structures Plus stuff is um, we've actually got our electric box right here. But you can actually put things quite far away from it and it'll actually be powered. 
So I'm thinking if I put it right over here, I don't want to put it through the wall because this is just a single wall. But if I put it right about here, it's powered. Sweet. Perfect. Nice. Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, we can close that door. Are these guys about to hatch? Yes, they are. Come on, mutation, baby. Oh, we got twinsies. Oh, why am I trying to whistle them? Nice. And they are high level. So we'll probably replace um, our other... Oh, they're both male. Useless, unless they got stat mutations. They should have some form of mutation on them. They got five and three. Unless they just inherited uh, mutations from somewhere else. All the stats look the same. Um... All right, I don't think we got anything good on them. These are not something we want to save because you want to keep your mutations lower. Um, mainly because if you fill up your mutations, you won't be able to get new ones. So you won't be able to get like new color mutations or anything like that. So we have to make sure to keep the mutation tree as low as possible. Is this another 260? Yes, it is. We're getting all the high level dinos now. Let's check his mutation tree. We got three on each side. Stats look the same so i'm not 100 percent sure what all the mutate well i mean you could still get the mutations on the right hand like on this side without actually inheriting any of the mutations from the parents so um this is one we're not going to want to keep because he's got a waste like he's got mutations on him that weren't inherited so we don't want to keep them most likely both of these are just all of these yeah all three of these aren't going to be keepers um we're going to use them to fill up our, uh, our refrigerators with meat, unfortunately. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but, you know, tis the life in Ark. You got to do what you got to do to, to survive, to strive. Are you guys still trying to follow me? Poor little Rexes. hate killing things. But, um, so besides that, we need to breed up our other saber tooth. I want to get the blue head on the red body because that would look freaking amazing. Now, you're not the one we want. Uh, we got the female in here, which is perfect. Ooh, we can boost some health into you. Uh, some melee damage. Damn, I didn't realize how high the melee damage was. And maybe get health up there. There we go. That's more better. And then we'll grab this one. That looks so nice, especially with the blue, with the blue stripes. And then getting the blue head on it will look phenomenal. Nice. Oh. <laughs> We need to keep, like, a trophy area of all of our mutations, too. So I'll have to build that in the future. Of course, this saber tooth is all sorts of in the way. Come on. Oh, you're on wander? Stop it. No. Don't do that. Oh, we're going to create a disaster, aren't we? And I'm thirsty again. Goodness. All right. Close that. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas or whatever. Okay, so... What level are these anyway? So we got 231 and a 248. I still can't believe how lucky we've gotten with that, with that low-level male. Um, just really, really, really can't get much better than that. Oh, stupid murder chicken. You're not even supposed to be down here anymore. So we're going to let them get their brown chicken brown cow on. Yeah. Man, they're like, they're just chilling. They're all sorts into it. They're not even trying to wander around. Like, man, I love that. Come on, baby. It's almost time. Is it going to pop out with the mutations? That Oh, it's why? Why? Why are you inside of it? I don't think we got the mutation. Um, mainly because the paw is black, so. What did we get? What did we get? It's a surprise! Oh, man, it didn't even inherit either of the either of the mutations. That is incredibly unlucky. Super unlucky, but it is level 238. And it's a male. Um, did we get... So we inherited the mutation from each side, but it's not actually showing. And, man, that's crazy. Okay, so that's pretty bad luck. Um, it looks like it got the body and then the, the head from the male. So, unfortunately, we've got a fourth dimensional saber tooth. I mean, that's a positive, I guess. The fourth dimensional saber tooth is pretty cool. Just chilling all up in the sky like that. It's got superpowers. Look at those little butts. Look at that butt. That's so weird. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, they're they're not the they're not the cutest babies. They look a little goofy. Um, we need to disable wandering on you. We'll disable wandering on you, and um, I think that is all I've got for today's episode, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stop following me. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff done. It doesn't look like it, but uh, we did. It took a long time. We got our super awesome aviary aviary done, so we've got a little bit more room to 
be able to do some breeding in here. I do want to continue our Thylakaleo breeding. I want to breed for stats next. Um, we need to move our sheep. We need to progress our Equus mutations, which I've been doing a really bad job of. We've been breeding them, but I keep forgetting to um, actually, you know, be there for when the babies are born. <coughs> so that's a tragedy. <clears throat> we still need to breed our piggies. We need higher level pigs because I want to breed some endgame pigs for doing... Uh, the tech caves and all that stuff uh, in the future and boss fights and stuff. So we really need to work towards that uh, What else I want to tame up some caprosuchus so we can move some uh, some baby dinos around a little bit easier And uh, I like our hat. I like our hatchery. It's convenient We got to fill it up with useful bits and pieces and stuff and make sure to fill up all the refrigerators with food But otherwise uh, things what the how did an equus get out here? Sneaky little horse you um, but otherwise we're just kind of getting some quality of life things done making our life a little bit easier one day at a time I hope you all enjoyed it if you guys are new to the channel Don't forget to subscribe if you did like the video Don't forget to show your support and smash that like button for me and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.